you probably clicked on this video because you either own a Sony 5000 series camera or a 6000 series camera and you want to know if this lens right here that I'm filming on the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 is worth your money and if you should buy it right am I right I know I'm right so listen I'm just gonna tell you flat out if you own a Sony 5000 or 6000 series camera and you don't have one of these lenses in your arsenal you are tripping and not only are you tripping, but as the old timers might say, you set tripping. You are set tripping if you don't own a Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. So, like I said, if you own a Sony 5000 or 6000 series camera, it might be the 5100, 6000, 6300, 6400, 6500, carry the one, any, any of those cameras, and you don't have a Sigma 16mm f1.4 in your arsenal, you're missing out. Now, I'm going to tell you the goods, and I'm also going to tell you the bads. I've been using this lens for about a year, right? And I'll be honest, about 90% of the time, this lens has stayed on my camera, man. It is my main lens that I go to for YouTube videos, especially like vlog stuff. I've used it on client work. I use it for Instagram stories, videos for other people. Like this lens stays on my camera. Now I think it's fair for me to tell you, I'm a prime lens kind of guy. So for example, like the Sony 18-105 F4, it's a great lens. However, it is a F4 lens. I'm a F1.2, F1.4, F1.8, 2.8. You get what I'm trying to say. So let me just tell you the things that I love about the lens before I go into the stuff I don't necessarily like about it. So let me tell you about a few things I really love about this lens. I'll tell you the things I don't like too, even though it's a really short list to be honest with you. But one of my favorite things about the lens, number one, the lens brand new is only $450. If you're patient, you can get it on the used market as long as you cool with used stuff for like maybe 300. But let me put that in perspective, right? For a wide angle 16 millimeter F1.4 lens, do you know how much a lens like that usually costs? It ain't cheap. So for this thing to only be $450 is pretty, pretty impressive, especially given the quality that it's able to pump out. So number one, my favorite thing about this lens, cause y'all know I'm cheap. My favorite thing is the price. So my second favorite thing is probably the focal length and also the aperture. So I kind of cheated, it's a two-on-one. So some of y'all might say, man, F1.4 is not a big deal. It's not even necessary. Man, shut up. Let me tell you something. Having an F1.4 lens, especially in low light conditions now, Sony's are real good in low light. So it's not a huge deal with Sony. But having F1.4 in a lower light situation is killer. Do you understand how much more light an f1.4 lens can let in over like an f3.5 or even an f2.8 lens? The amount of light that this thing can absorb is freaking ridiculous. And being able to have that capability to pull in more light when you need it, even if you won't use it that often, to me is killer. The second reason f1.4 is dope to me, because let's just say you don't have like a telephoto lens, something that can't offer you that compression that maybe like a longer focal length lens can give you to get that super, super a smooth buttery background then a f1.4 lens can also do the trick now the b-roll and the background blur out of the 16 millimeter it's called the bokeh the bokeh is freaking amazing obviously it's not as blurry as like a 50 millimeter or 85 or 105 but you get what i'm saying 
having that in the lens that you can use for like vlogging at 24 millimeter for general purpose video, in my opinion, is killer. And while we're talking about focal length, I'm doing a vlog style video right now and I'm using the 16 millimeter. So, I mean, could it be wider? It could be a little bit wider, but you know, then you introduce a lot of distortion and usually those wider lenses don't have those fast apertures like the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter. It's the F4 lens, man. I need my fast aperture. But anyways, to sum it up, my number two favorite thing about the 16 millimeter F1.4 is the aperture and the focal length. focus on this thing is so quick and silent you don't even know it's working let me show you boom <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right back in focus now a lot of that's the Sony but being able to have a reliable autofocus motor in here that you cannot hear eh, it's pretty dope okay man so the last thing I wanted to cover real quick before I move on to the stuff I don't like is just the image quality number four in no particular order is the image quality I think this might be the sharpest lens I've ever used on Sony only uh, neck and neck to the Sigma 30 millimeter because that that lens is crazy sharp but this is right there with it and it's wider which is a plus but the image quality out of this thing even at f1.4 is just butter smooth man it's just so smooth it's so good like i'm not a pixel peeper i'm not one of those people that sits there and analyzes the top left corner for chromatic aberration and purple fringing and all that stuff i'm not into that as long as it looks good that's what i care about and with this lens it's just so easy to get a good picture and a good video it don't make no sense how good and smooth this thing is honestly however when you do pictures, you will see a lot of distortion, especially if you're taking pictures of people, which this isn't my favorite lens for portraiture, which I'm not saying that it can't work, but it's not my go-to, but you will see the distortion if you're taking pictures. Now, fortunately in Lightroom, it's an automatic profile correction. Once you import the photos, it, you know, it kind of fixes it and does all that good stuff. Now let's talk about the stuff I don't like. Now it's a very, very short list, but I do want to tell you about it. Now something to keep in mind real quick. This lens was designed to stay at an affordable price point. So things like in-body stabilization, things like weather seal and stuff like that, that they could have included, I'm sure would have made this thing more expensive. So even though I did say that, I will say the things I don't like. Number one, no in-body stabilization. Now let's just throw this out there. Sony stabilization sucks, man. So being able to have a lens that's also stabilized would reduce the amount of suckiness that the Sony's offer with in-body stabilization. The second thing that I really, really wish that it had is some type of real weather seal. And now again, we gotta be considerate of the price point. And I'm not saying that this thing can't withstand like a light splash because I have gotten a wetter time in two, even though I don't recommend it. Never malfunction, never had no issues with it, nothing like that. However, I would like the confidence of being able to go out into a rainstorm or something like that. No, I would not like to go out into a rainstorm, but you get what I'm trying to say. You know, the other thing I wish it had on the side of the lens is some type of manual focus autofocus switch. Now on Sony's or any camera for that matter, it's not a big deal because you can always assign a button to toggle it on and off, but I really like lenses that have a dedicated switch on them. And to be honest with you, short of the nuances of any other wide angle fast lens, that's, that's really all I don't like about the lens, man. This lens is killer for your Sony. So if you're looking for that vlog lens, if you're looking for that lens that can perform well in any given scenario low light bright light all of that stuff this is the lens for you it's not perfect it does have some shortcomings but for the price point i really honestly don't think you can beat it for a video lens i think it's a killer lens for photos it can take some really really sharp photos but you do need to be mindful of the distortion that it does because it is a wider angle lens so if you're taking pictures of people you want to make sure that they're closer to the center of the frame and not over here or over here because you will get some distortion but if you don't have one of these lenses i'm just telling you like you're losing out you're missing out so i'll put a link in the description where you can cop one of these lenses man from amazon but let me know in the comments what you think if you have a 16 millimeter let me know how you like it if you're thinking about getting one like i said go ahead and grab one let me know your results and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video so that's all i got for you today piece of chicken grease terry warfield peace